where I was going was a another place, but because I'm right here, I'm gonna go into the target. So, and of course, my seasonal mask. All right, let's go. This was not at all what I planned to do today. It's, um, you know, it's funny how these things spring upon you, but um, I never seem to have this kind of luck. This is one of the only wrestlers that I always followed in, in my life and um, always liked him. And when he became a Hollywood actor, I enjoyed all of that too. Um, this is probably one of the only wrestling figures <laughs> that I ever really wanted outside of maybe the big show and Cena, which I've got and an AJ Styles so that they have somebody to beat the crap out of. Um, but this is Rowdy Roddy Piper folks. This is the man and this is an absolute score. So Without uh, any further ado, I'm going to break him out of his box because that's what we do around here. We don't leave really cool stuff in its box. I'm going to break this out really quick and uh, give you a kind of a look at what's inside. First of all, the box itself, I will try to keep the glare off of the packaging so that you can take a look. It's got this really great Roddy Piper. Uh, portrait on the back um, and it's just fantastic really 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 nice artwork um, I always look forward to Piper's pit and um, he was just a huge poop talker uh, all the time his deal was to act out <laughs> so I like that and um I'll tell you what, I passed on the Mick Foley when I found it last year, I think, or maybe it was two years ago. I passed on picking up the Mick Foley and I really kind of uh, regret that. So um, I'm going to get this guy out really quick. Sorry about the framing, but I've got this this way for a reason. Okay, inside the box, really kind of a cool WWE legends um cardboard backer um i will probably keep this all 
together. This is one box I will not destroy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you if you want a good laugh, go watch the uh, gargoyle unboxing, the gargoyle figure unboxing on our brother station, uh, the first 117. It is with Rob the Goon and it is hysterically funny. Um, I feel bad for the packaging, but I feel really good for what I got to see. Um, okay, stupid tray shot, tray shot over. All right. He comes with two hands and um, he comes with soft goods. He comes, he's wearing a kilt and uh, um, a t-shirt, which are both sort of glossy and they fit him well. Um, here's what I'm going to say right out of the box. The tartan kilt is not actually tartan. So may have to replace that, but <laughs> I don't really care. Actually, I won't replace it. It's just how it'll be. Uh, there you go. You get a, uh, let's see if we can get a, a face shot there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to reverse the filming so that you can take a good look. All right, so here is the Rowdy Roddy Piper in all his glory. He's got this great t-shirt on the front. Um, the shirt itself is sort of, um, it has a sheen to it, I like that. And uh, the face sculpt is fantastic. So uh, I am really happy with this. Um, it is your usual WW um, wrestling figure. He's got the usual articulation. I will check and see if he's got butterfly joints. But um, you know, the usual forward facing pin, uh, foot, and rocker for the ankle so you can get some good poses out of him um and um you know like i said the the tartan kilt is not quite tartan but when seen from a distance the illusion is there um <laughs> i will probably talk to annie about making something for him but anyway uh really quick just wanted to get this out there and um you know, it was just something that happened really quick that kind of blew in and um, demanded that I get on and make an episode for really quick. So anyway, Roddy's out of the out of the box. He is very happy and um, he is going to join my other wrestling figures. I've got the big show. I've got John Cena um, and I've got Nikki Cross. Ah. I've got Nikki Cross. Where is Nikki Cross? I'll have to locate her again. I don't know where Nikki has gotten off to. But um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I've got a Roddy Piper, finally. This is so cool. The other thing I need to do is I need to unbox some of these cars really quick so that we can actually put them in our collection. My wife bought this for the purple car right here, which she really liked. Um, and I really dug the Lotus and uh, and and the, uh, the, I think this is an Aston that has a green, uh, it's a green car with a yellow stripe, so it's very Packers. And uh, we got the Bugatti, which, I, uh, he's a very special little boy and he needs cheering up after his operations. It's going to Andre, of course. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna, I don't think I need to use the stupid knife on this stupid thing. All right, we're just gonna do this. You ready? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a, give it the Rob treatment. Ah, one of these things childproof? Damn.
box to the floor. Try to get that centered. Um, okay, so out of the box. Have the Bugatti Veyron. Lamborghini Vanino. That's pretty hot. The Lotus. And the Mazda, was I'm mistaken. Here, let's redo this. Okay, and to finish up, just a couple of main lines that I want to get out of their package so that I can put them in with my collection. Um, this first one was the Nissan uh, in red. I've got it in blue, but that's a fantastic red. And uh, I'm always a kind of a sucker for this build of car. It kind of speaks to me as, you know, race car. It really does. It's it's why I like the GT40. You know those sort of um, the front wheel wells and the you know the the rise and the the hood. I know this is making it sound like I'm you know really reaching, but anyway, um, I'm gonna unbox that. <laughs> unbox it. Um, probably seen this car, of course, in the, um, uh, in the bins, you've seen it on the pegs. Um, I really like it in this candy apple, steal me red. That's beautiful. That's just gorgeous. Uh, next gonna of course unbox this batmobile that i just picked up oh, it's so it's cathartic to open things it's it feels really good to throw the packaging around uh willy-nilly sorry willy um anyway you know it's got uh, slightly different markings but it's the exact same casting basically that i picked up out at the uh out at the uh at the uh, Polk County Fairgrounds recently. A uh, little different. It's got a uh, it's got a gray motor encasing. Yeah, you know. What can I tell you? It's a Batmobile. You know, I can't walk away from Batmobiles. Um, speaking of race cars that always speak to me as this is a race car, um, I want to open this GT40 
and add it to my uh, collection case. Um, by the way, if you don't know, the best collection cases really are made uh, and they're sold at they're sold at Hobby Lobby. And I don't want to say that, but you know what? It's where you get them. Um, anyway, uh, there we go in the in the golf paint job paint scheme. That's just gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Let me say that again. Um, I really love this. Love this casting. I love the I love the paint scheme. That's truly wonderful. Um, the next thing I'm going to open up is a color shifter. Andre was talking about these recently on his channel. Um, and my wife and I are going to do a color shifter thing. This is an interesting one because he's uh, he's got one that kind of turns white from whatever color it was. But um, these are kind of cool. My wife and I have messed around with them a little bit. Uh, when you shift the color on them, it stays that way for quite a while until it sort of wears off and turns back to normal. Um, anyway, this, uh, this mig rig has got to come out of his case because I'm sick of looking at packaging everywhere in my office. And it's much easier to plant something like this somewhere where will sit for a moment <laughs> but anyway color changer um as a sort of a flatbed old flatbed truck uh let's see oh gosh i got all these too um so anyway i'm not going to i'm not going to sit here and endlessly open cards but i did want to get these open um and get them out of that five pack. Five packs are a pain in the butt to to keep if you're collecting. Um, you know this, I know this. Anyway, um, there you have it. Some openings. <laughs> um, if you like what you see uh, here on the old uh, Monkey Shine Lab, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, single punch single joint elbows but they're very smooth that's really wild because usually they're they're not like that um okay uh anyway roddy would like to say like share subscribe and uh remember to hit that uh notification bell if you do want to get stuff uh you know my uploads will it'll let you know oh there's new stuff for you to waste time with on monkey shine labs page so please hit the notification bell and uh, tell your friends about us, please. Uh, thank you very much for coming out to Monkey Shine Lab, and we will see you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye.